So here is our membrane keypad for our antique apparatus um, jukebox. And the issue we were having is the number one key, the zero, and the five were worn out and cracked. And actually, I'll show you how we take this apart. Basically, you take a razor blade, and I already peeled it back. And I try to do the simple fix, and I'll show you anything with the conductive flexible uh, glue and I did that on a couple of them and it held for about five um, pushes of the button and then afterwards it just broke again so now you know these things are not available so we got to figure out how to fix it so what I found is you can go on Amazon and get yourself some replacement dual membrane pieces and then what we'll do is we're just going to peel this off, transfer it over, and then make a new harness in order to um, get it to do the same function. So first things first, we'll peel this piece off. What you want to do is just take a razor blade, start peeling it, see there? one more layer right there you want to keep this intact because it'll be helpful um, when we make the new one just getting the wiring harness right and what I did also do which I forgot to mention is I marked these where each button went on the top just so it'll help me line up the new one we go and once we get it started see it comes right up and there we have it and then we got our membrane right here that we'll use to make our harness later so what you want to do is you want to clean this off I mean it, what I like to use is some form of paint thinner um, you know mineral spirits will work fine just for quick drying though we can use a little quick dab of enamel reducer Just wipe it real quick. You can use rubbing alcohol also, which will dry quick too. Then after that's done, now you're ready to start sticking down your membranes. Now I will say, you know, it's what I did before when I first got these is, you know, you see the membrane here. I marked it with a black line and this is the common for these two buttons and that'll be helpful when we're making our harness so these are just self adhesive peel and peel and stick down so just peel it back and what we want to do is we want to line it up basically in the middle in the center like so There's our first stick down. There we go. And now we'll repeat it for the other ones. Like I said, just peel and stick. It's great about these. These, And I think they were about, I think it was $15 for these on Amazon. Do peel and stick down again.
These are very sticky, so you need to be careful when you're sticking them down. And now we've got our last set, which is going to be our reset and our play hits button. And it's a little bit further down. Just like that. Okay, now that we have that installed, our next thing is going to be to make another one of these. So there's a place here locally um, in Madison, North Carolina called Signs and Trophies. And I've already talked to the owner and he's going to make me one that's similar to this that'll go right over top of here. And so it'll basically have the same function as the original. So stay tuned. We're going to order that. And then I'm going to show you how we wire it up in order to um, get this to work in our old interface.